Oh, okay, here we are today. <clears throat> um, back at the table, kitchen table. A very puzzling a thing occurring last night. Misty found this bird, and it was trapped in the garage. And I'm not sure if its wings are clipped or what, but I did see a, a entanglement on one of its. Uh, I cut this off here on one of its legs, so it wasn't flying around. And uh, this could be a sparrow. I'm not exactly sure what bird this is, but um, I'm gonna, you know, basically try to nurture this back to health. And, uh, this is it, you know, this this uh, was a type of mail delivery, as you could see, uh, from the what we have here, the ESO, um, European Space uh, Observatory Headquarters. This this is where the bird came from, and. I think what they want is, uh, they sent to me, you know, the cybernetic communication company, Grisher Crutchmer, and they want to use this uh, sparrow to go into the proverbial coal mine of darkness that uh, we've created out of uh, the alphabet, the 26 points of the alphabet. So we'll send the bird in, uh, we'll attach uh, a laser beam uh, to it, and um, We'll have some mirror guideposts, and the bird will be trained to go from point A, B, C, D, and then in to E, F, G, and then back to H, where the H and the uh, A align for the um, aha epiphany point, and so on and so on. And uh, I'll use the uh, Google Translate tool that uh, is available to us, and uh, you know, basically communicate with the bird cybernetically. Uh, so that it, it, it could tell us, you know, just to what direction there is uh, in in the, uh, you know, beyond the gate, so to speak. And we'll play a lot of good music for it and bird sounds from, you know, freesound.org. We'll post, post this on YouTube and maybe Vimeo and Google and we'll, we'll share that with our friends uh, overseas. So if anyone knows what kind of bird this is, uh, feel free to, you know, post and... Uh, once it's back to health, uh, we'll, we'll of course set that free.